Rendition of soul-lifting songs as the celebrant Chi Tommy Kimi, family members and associates danced to the altar at St. Paul's Catholic Church, Benin City, to offer thanks to God for divine providence and protection. Several dignitaries, including Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, Isama of Benin, and Honorary Romanian Consul to Edo and Delta States of Nigeria, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawawi Benedion, 2023 Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, a former Governor of Edo State, Chief Lockheed Benedion, 2024 Edo State PDP Governorship Candidate Dr. Aswe Godalu, graced the lavish birthday celebration. The Chief Officiating Minister and Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja, His Eminence John Cardinal Onayekon, asked the congregation to always appreciate God for the gift of life, which he said is the highest goal in prosperity. The celebrant Chief Tommy Kimi and the Oduma of Igwebe, in company with his son, expressed gratitude to God for the success of the 80th birthday celebration. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who's come uh, to this event to uh, wish us a uh, happy birthday. Family members of High Chief Tommy Kimi, other dignitaries, including the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, Edo State PDP governorship candidate Dr. Aswe Igodalu, and his wife, Mrs. Ifeyunwa Igodalu, also expressed gratitude to God for the life of the elder statesman. Happy birthday, Chief Tommy Kimi. God Almighty continue to bless you, and you will continue to be a great mentor and a great leader. Praise and thank God. Praise him for everything, for my brother's life. The God Almighty who have been with him all these years and have been blessing him, granting him more fruitful and happy years. I am so proud of his accomplishments and the fact that he supports his people. The ceremony later shifted to the Edo Marquis Event Center for a grand reception where Chief Tommy Kimi, surrounded by family members and associates, cut his exquisite octogenarian cake. Amazing. Bazwaye, ITV News.